What is happening in Ghana? At gas stations across the country, prices are shooting up higher and faster than they have in more than a decade. What a beautiful car! This thing is absolutely gorgeous! I just wish... Especially in Ghana. I don't know the economy in the world that's doing well. well Tell me, where you are here. This comes as the cost the of highest gas keeps places. going up well, here in the U.S. The average. Uh, for, for, for more on this, I want to bring in Zeke Miller. He's a CBS News... Uh, this is obviously a unique crisis. Economy, of, uh, but if I look at the Ghanaian economy at the moment, you know, it's doing... I mean, let's just be honest, it's doing terribly. Uh, oh, not terribly. Well, uh, it's do, it's, when, uh, when you, uh, your, your inflation in your country, inflation in Ghana... I don't know the economy in the world that's doing well. well Tell me Ghana, where you are here. Inflation in Ghana. <laughs> the in highest Ghana. inflation... Well, 15.7%. Uh, yeah. The, the, the Ghanaian said he has fallen 20% on the dollar. The worst, the worst after Russia, which, is, which has a lot of sanctions yeah. against it. Yeah. In Africa, Ghana is one of the most expensive countries to live in. Prices of goods and services have increased sharply since the beginning of the pandemic. And some say the situation is becoming unbearable. Rising fuel and food prices are affecting all parts of society. Now, as of the time of recording this video, one gallon is about $5.14. Now, if you don't know what one gallon is, let me put that in liters for you. That would be approximately 3.8 liters. Now. In the U.S., it's $5.14. Gas keeps going up here in the U.S. The average price of a gallon of regular gas is now a little more than $5. Right? Right here in Ghana, that's the same amount of fuel we are buying. We are buying 38 cities per gallon. That is equivalent to $5 in the United States. Now, comparing that to the United States, People living there in the United States earn up to $2,500, up to $3,000 for minimum wage. That means a normal, you know, person with no degree. That's monthly salary, and that's about 22,000 Ghana cities. But right here in Ghana, people earn as low as 600 Ghana cities. So imagine buying four, just like the same amounts as if you are in America. How would Ghanaian survive? We went to the market, Mokola, and, you know, spoke to some market women and asked them, how is this really affecting them? And this is what they had to say. From from Mokola to where? From Mokola to Kaneshi. Before three months ago, how much do you used to spend on transportation? That was two cities, fifty pesos. So they say economy is harsh. Do you really see it? That do you feel it? And how does it affect you? The economy is really hard. In fact, for we that so it's kind of difficult for us because everything prices have increased. So it's difficult to tell the client that, oh, this is the price I'm charging now and the price before. They will still want to pay the normal price before. So that's why. Why do you think this is happening? What is causing this? Well, now I can't say because everywhere is hard. People are blaming the government. Others are blaming the increase of fuel. What are you blaming? <laughs> I will blame the government. the government. Yeah. So if it's a lot of people are complaining, Ghana is difficult. If you are given a chance to leave the country to any other country, where will you go and why? <laughs> Anywhere better than Ghana. <laughs> where is better than Ghana? Because do you know Ghana is the eighth most richest country in Africa? Most richest country, yes. we don't see anything. Yes. Following um, um, South Africa, Nigeria, Kenya, and others, Ghana is ranking you know high, but the cost of living is very expensive. Yeah. If I'm given the chance to leave Ghana, I would rather leave Africa as a whole instead. Yeah. So where? US or Canada? US, Canada. But a lot of people are moving from US to Ghana saying the US economy is crashing and then Ghana is more of a paradise to them. What do you have to say about that? US is more of a paradise to me than Ghana. So this car is going to Kaneshi from Mokola. Now, people used to pay 2 city 50 pesos three months ago for this transportation from Mokola to Kaneshi. But now, they are paying three city in the period of just three months. It's began, it's began to, to firm up. 
it has begun to firm up. Uh, we're, we're, we're seeing uh, the, the CD systematically appre uh, appreciating against the dollar. People still can't employ, you know, I was just reading today, you know, um, people in the hospitality industry that you're pushing so hard, you know, having to lay their staff off. We've got taxi driver unions threatening strikes because of spiraling fuel costs. I mean, it, it doesn't look like a place that I want to go and put my money. Where will you put your money in the world today? Where will you put your money? In Britain? which is suffering the, the, the worst standard of living statistics for over 30 years? Is that where, is that, is it? All right, they, let's, let's, let's situate ourselves correctly. The world is going through very difficult times. Ghana is no exception. Nigeria is no exception. There's no country in the world that is escaping the ravages of both COVID-19 and also the impact of the Ukraine. But we, in what you need to look at are where are the, the, the elements being put on the ground that look beyond the, the COVID and beyond the Russian-Ukraine war. And I think you'll find that in Ghana, the recovery program that we have is one that is, is considered very credible and it is what is going to give us the opportunity to come out of this period a stronger economy. Mm -hmm. And it is that future that we're looking at when we're attracting people. So we asked most Ghanaians, why do you think the cost of living here in Ghana is increasing and fuel prices are increasing? A lot of people said it's because of the poor governance and the, you know, of the existing um, government. Others also said it's because of Russia, US, Ukraine war and its tensions among its allies. So what is really the truth? This is what is going on in the United States of America. President Biden is calling on U.S. oil companies to produce more gasoline and diesel. On Wednesday, he sent letters to several companies, including ExxonMobil, BP and Shell. He asked them to work with the White House and bring concrete near-term solutions to the energy crisis. Mr. Biden also accused the companies of capitalizing on the war in Ukraine. This comes as the cost of gas keeps going up here in the U.S. The average price of a gallon of regular gas is now a little more than $5. For more on this, I want to bring in Zeke Miller. He's a CBS News political contributor and a White House reporter for the Associated Press. So, Zeke, how have American oil companies so far responded to the president's letter and what can the companies even do that they haven't tried to already do? Yeah, that, that's the real challenge facing uh, the, the White House here is that there's not a whole lot that those oil, oil production companies, particularly those refining companies, to do. Um, the, refinery capacity in the U.S. has been on the decline over the last several years. There hasn't been new refineries brought online. And that's partly what we've heard from the oil companies in response to the president pointing to his climate policies that have been trying to disincentivize the use of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, of greenhouse gas emitting um, uh, 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 petroleum products. And so they've turned around to the White House and said, uh, if, you're, if you if you had had different policies, you, you might not be in the same situation here. Uh, this is obviously a unique crisis, in part because of, uh, in large part because of, of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Um, so uh, the, the challenge is, you know, there's a lot of rhetoric coming from both sides here and not a lot of solutions. And that's unfortunately... Uh, so this is the gas price in the United States of America as of today, when I'm recording this video. And this is a gas price in Ghana. Compare side by side. The Biden administration also announced that the U.S. will send an additional $1 billion in military aid to Ukraine. So how much has the U.S. given to Ukraine so far? And how is the White House justifying this aid, given what we're all going through here, the economic situation and the downfall here? And this is um, one part of that new $40 billion tranche of spending that Congress approved uh, a few weeks ago. Um, bringing the total uh, that the U.S. Mil from the military standpoint that the U.S. has given to Ukraine to uh, roughly five and a half billion dollars. So let's talk about the diasporans trying to move to Ghana while this economic crisis is happening. What does this mean to the diaspora trying to move to Ghana? The U.S. dollars is appreciating against the city, meaning your U.S. dollars will be worth more in cities when you change it. So it, it has nothing to do with, you know, affecting your cost of living whatsoever. It might be slightly expensive than before, but it doesn't really have any impact. So far as you are earning United States dollars, you should be fine. And I always recommend people to move back to Ghana, especially because 
world crisis is happening everywhere and so far Ghana's economy is really doing great so far. This is what the president of Ghana had to say about the Ghana economy. When, when you hear all these stories, Mr. President, I mean, Ghana was one of the rising stars of, you know, uh, um, the economic recovery of Africa, so to speak. You know, but when you hear about all these issues with the economy now, what, what exactly went wrong? Nothing has gone wrong. We've, we, we, we're part of those who have been very badly affected by what has gone on in the last two years. Until 2020, since I came into office, 2017, 2018, 2019, the beginning of 2020, we were growing our economy at about 7%, the GDP growth rate. One of the fastest growing economies in the world was the Ghanaian economy. Even in the, in the crunch year of 2020, when the economies of the world dived, Ghana, we still managed a positive rate of growth because the fundamentals of our economy are strong. But it has been a difficult task for all the economies of the world. I think it is important that when you're making the kind of provocative statements that you're making, that you situate yourself, you speak as if you're living in the same time as you and I, where the world economy as a whole has, been, has, has gone through very difficult times. And there are several things that we're doing which is in the line of being able to pick up our economy again. I have no doubt that next year, if you were to come and speak to me like you're doing today, we will be, have a different set of facts for us to look at. Now, you heard him say about inflation, inflation, depreciation. What does inflation actually really mean? And what is depreciation? Let me explain that to you. So inflation is the increase of price of goods and services per time. So let me put that into perspective to, to really make you understand. I'm going to demonstrate what it really means. So let's say I get paid, I got my salary, and I want to go to the grocery shop and buy some things that I need. So I go to the grocery shop with about 100 Ghana City to buy some things that I need. Bought all the groceries that I need, and yes, left. I had to pay 100 Ghana cities. One year later, I go back to the same grocery shop with the same 100 Ghana City, and you know, pick up the same item I picked up one year ago. But this time I have to pay about 110 Ghana cities. If that happens, I've experienced 10% increase in inflation. So that is basically an inflation and Ghana is experiencing a fast inflation. Let me make another example. I used to buy fuel 380 Ghana city petrol for my car. My car is 52 liters. That was three, four months ago. Now I'm buying about 540 Ghana city for the same amount of liters petrol by fuel in a very short period of time. This is what is making the economy of Ghana very hard. So comment down below what you think is making the economy of Ghana very hard. It's said that petrol prices can go up to 15 Ghana city per liter by the end of 2022. Who knows? And I also heard from somewhere that it's not going down the sky is the limit for the four prices so yes this is inflation and this is what is happening here in Ghana 